Wishing you a very good day, Doctor. I'm Shaktivel Damandiran here. My matrix number is B01201056. Now, I would like to demonstrate for part A and part B. Okay, as you can see here, I've constructed the circuit as per given in the left sheet. And for the DC simulation, I've set all the parameters according to the left sheet. Okay, okay. So, let's run the simulation. By clicking here, I'm running the simulation. Okay, as you can see here, the V in is 10 volt and the V out is 5 volt. So, this is because you see there's 400 and 400. So, as per in uh, voltage divider, the 50% of the voltage draw will be occurred at the R1 and the 50% will be occurred at the R2. So, it matches the theory. Okay, for the for, for the second one, they will ask us to replace it with 100 ohms. So, by doing this, enter so i'm running the simulation back okay as you can see 80 percent of the voltage drop is occurred at the resistor r1 for the second is for the second one uh, the third one sorry the third one is 200 ohms okay so there will be a voltage drop at the r1 uh, will be approximately 67 percentage and the rest will be at the R2 so it is which is 3.3 for the last one it will be 300 ohms enter okay then we run the simulation so the R out uh, the voltage out at the from the R1 will be 4.28 voltage okay for part B, as you can see here, I've constructed the circuit as per given in the left sheet. And R2, I've set it to R out. Okay. The DC simulations parameters are same as in part A. And then the parameter sweep is set as per given in the left sheet. Okay. Why do we need the parameter sweep? As you can see here, by running this simulation, I've obtained the data. Okay. There are numbers of possible values where when we set R2 is equal to this, 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 the, the values will change accordingly. So why do we need parameter sweep? Okay, in real life applications, we are given a desired output as V out. So in order for us to get the V out, we will, we will, we will have to compute e, all the possible values at R2 in order for us get, to get the test output. So the parameter sweep will easier work by calculating all the possible values for R2 in order for us to get the desired V out as an output. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Nashafina Safi Binti Jamaluddin, B0111066. I would, I would like to present to you about experiment 3 part C. Simulation using the AC simulation based on the experiment model, we need to construct the simulation first. As you can see here, we need to construct all of this by using the QUCS. To construct the simulation, we need to use the voltage source. We need to use AC, uh, which is an AC voltage and current current prop and voltage prop and also a resistor after link all the components we can run the simulation the result will appear in the truth table here as you can see here we use the AC simulation for the AC simulation we need to set it set it up to type of linear start on uh, start at 50 hertz and stop at 100 hertz which is 0.6 and for the V1, for the search, we need to setting up the 240 volt. As you can see, after we run the simulation for the resistor R1 is R50 ohm, the result will be 50, 60, until 100. As you can see here, this is the result for the simulation. Next, we change the value of R1. R1 we change as a 100 ohm. 
still still using the same AC simulation setting and the search voltage settings, and the result will uh, will pop up in the truth table. The next one is 150 ohm for the R1, and this is the result for truth table. But we need to change here, which is we need to change the voltage at 240 volt. The frequency is a 50 hertz. And the phase must be 90 degree. And after we check all, we need to change this one to the first, not giga. Okay, then we can run the simulation. Here our simulation just now. So we get our value 50, 60, and 100. And this is the result. Next is uh, R2 to 200 ohm. This same setting and same voltage. This is the result in the truth table. We get 50, 60, 70, and 100. Next one is adding the parameter sweep. What is the function of parameter sweep? Is to which is you need to set set up the R1 to equal to R out, which is the parameter sweep need to set it up to connect with the AC1, which is the AC simulation just now. Type of linear parameter is a equal to R1 equals out to R out. Start at 0 ohm and stop at 1000 ohm 0.6. After we run the simulation, we will get this truth table. But in the left, left task, we need to do next one is the DC simulation, which is the DC simulation to prove that this DC simulation cannot run. And it just uh, the result will be appear was one zero zero zero. In the same point, we need to use one volt and get the one hundred ohm. So this is the result. Next one is this is a simulation uh, combined with the parameter sweep with the same setting parameter sweep linked to the DC simulation one linear type parameter one R one R is one hundred ohm. We need to change it here, which is equals to R out. Right? Okay, then we can run the simulation. And it will be appear like this 0, 50, 100, and till 1E03. This is the result. As you can see, it has a different, which is parameter sweep we can control until the, the end of the value. Next is transfer simulation. How can transfer simulation link with this circuit? Using the same thing, set, same setting of the source voltage, with R1 equal to R1 100. Transfer simulation, we need to set up with linear type start at 0 and stop at 30 ms and will appear this result. This graph is from 100 at 200. Next one. Transfer simulation also, but we will. Add on with the parameter sweep, which is when you're setting it up R1 equals to R out with the same setting of the parameter sweep link to the transfer simulation 
with 240 volt, frequency is 50 hertz, and phase is 90 degree. So this is the result for the transmission with parameter switch. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. My name is Sabrina Dimitri Firdaus. My matrix number is B01211061. Today I'll be presenting about part D of the lab, which is power measurement. As we can see here, we have part A, lab 3D A, which is to connect the resistor into the circuit by series. As you can see here, we have the current graph and also the voltage graph which the current starts at 1 and ends at a negative 1. For the voltage, it starts at 240, ends also at negative 240. For the 3 dB, which is the capacitor, we have two value, which is 10 millifarad and 50 millifarad. Same connection as the resistor, but we change the resistor into a capacitor in the same position. We have a current and voltage graph, as you can see here. The transient simulation, we start, we start at zero and we stop at 30 milliseconds. For the power supply, we have 50, 50 hertz for frequency and also we set at 90 phase, 90 um, degree phase. And the second one for the B, which is 50 millifarad, the same concept as the 10 millifarad, just change the value to 50. For the inductor, we have here inductor for four value, which is one Henry, one milli Henry, 10 milli Henry, and also 50 milli Henry. For the 10 milli, uh, for the one Henry, just the same as resistor and capacitor circuit, change the position of the resistor into inductor. We have here current and also a voltage graph, as you can see here. Same power supply, 50 hertz for the frequency and 90 degree for the phase. We have here 1 milli Henry, 10 milli Henry, and also 50 milli Henry. What I want to explain deeper is about the D, which is the parallel for resistor and capacitor. Normally, we call this as RC circuit. So we parallel the resistor and the capacitor as you can see here in the circuit, and then we ground it, and then put another power supply here. The same power supply, 50 frequency and 90 degree phase. Resistor, we use 230 ohm. For the capacitor, we use two value, which is 10 millifarad and also 50 millifarad. For the transient simulation, we start at zero second and stop at 30 millisecond. Here is the graph for the current and also voltage. As you can see here, the difference between 50 millifarad current graph and also 10 millifarad current graph is the value of the current here. This is 0 0.005 and this is 0 0.001. For the inductor, we use four value, the same value as the C, C1, C2, C3, and C4, which is one Henry, 1 milli Henry, 10 milli Henry, and also 50 milli Henry. The difference is also at the current. As you can see here, this is two, two current, two ampere, and this is 0 0.001 ampere. This is 100 ampere, and the last one will be 20 ampere. Same transition and same power supply. This is all for my presentation for part D. For the calculation of the active power, apparent power, reactive power, and power factor, I have included it in the report. Any question, you can ask um, us and the group. Thank you so much. Now, I'm going to talk about three-phase current, AC current. Okay, As you can see here, there are delta to delta connection and y to y connection so we need to construct delta to delta connection and y to y connection respectively 
and then the supply voltages will be 120 volt with 50 hertz frequency okay first of all let's look at delta to delta connection okay as you can see i have constructed the circuit of delta to delta connection and then i've set uh, the phase and uh, phase degree of 0 120 and 240 this is because all the phases are 120 degrees apart from each other okay and then this is the voltage or the amplitude of the voltage and then this is the frequencies okay okay and then as you can see i have constructed it okay let's run it okay by clicking i'm running it okay as you can see here this is the line voltage this is obtained from this line to this line and then this line to this line and then this line back to this line okay okay so this is the line voltages and the amplitude is 120 volt and for the phase voltages it is the same as the line voltages which is 120 volt and you know that uh, the phase voltage is the voltage which is set uh, as the input voltage so it is 120 so that there will be different if there's a difference also it will be at a line voltage but in this delta to delta connection the phase voltage is equal to uh, line voltage so it is 120 volt okay okay for the line current it is uh, 3.8051 ampere and then the phase uh, current is 2.1969 ampere okay okay the reason is because okay this is the impedance by calculating this using this formula okay and then uh, for the IP, uh, the phase current this is the formula which is VP over impedance and then we can get this okay for the IL uh, which is uh, the line current it is square root 3 times the uh, phase current and then the degrees will be uh, lagging uh, about 30 degrees but we couldn't we couldn't obtain the exact location of the lagging from the graph in the LT spice but theoretically it is proven that is lagging by 30 degrees in delta to delta connection so this is for uh, 0 degree this is for 120 degrees and this is for 240 degrees respectively okay let's see y to y connections okay this is the y to y connection okay and then I'm running running the simulation by clicking over here okay so so let's take the face uh, face uh, face uh, face graph uh, face voltage graph okay by clicking over here here and here okay these are the phases okay so as you can see here the maximum amplitude is 120 volt okay as you can see here the phase voltage is under 20 volt but for y to y connection the uh, line voltage will be square root 3 times the phase voltage as you can see here okay so it is which is 207.84 volt okay for all the uh, uh, degrees la okay for 0 220 and 240 okay for the line current and the phase current both are same in y to y connection which is 10.85 ampere for phase and line current i see okay as you can see here this is the impedance okay and then ip is equal to this formula vp over z and then we know that il is equal to ip for by the theoretical but for vl it is square root 3 phase, uh, phase voltage and then it will be leading around 30 degrees for all the phases so that's why we are adding 30 degrees for this 0 degree and then 120 degree we are adding 30 which is 150 and then for 240 we will be adding 30 degrees which is 270 that's all from me thank you